The area we're going to be working is extremely remote. There's no roads, and I mean no roads. The only way to get new towers in is by helicopter. Okay, we just got a little set of peewee blocks in there. That'll help you a little bit. Slinging out of these particular aircraft can be difficult. You can't stick your head all the way out the door and see the whole picture. You have glimpses of the picture. You have a little tiny mirror that you can see the opposite reflection of. Sometimes you can see down through your window. And sometimes you're going to have to line up stuff on the ground that says that you're there without even seeing your load. I got you tied down pretty good, Jim. Uh, we'll see if we can swing it a little bit. Okay, coming down, coming down. That looks really good right there, Jim. All right. Not bad, boys. The towers are in place, but the workers can't move the lines onto the new towers until they shut down the power. Hell no, I'm not touching that wire. it kill you and half your family, that's what it'll do. Kill you, your dog, your family, and two more generations that aren't even thought about yet. All right, let's get to that. On uh, three for two. Juno's main source of power has just been cut off. Now, every second is critical. While we're offline, the city of Juno is getting kicked into jimmies. This is the main power source for Juno. When this power line's down, it's costing me, costing people in Juno a lot of money. So I can do everything I can to make it happen. Juno is the most isolated state capital in the US. And in harsh winters, heavy snow can take down the power lines in seconds. Every year, avalanches wipe out or almost wipe out the line in several areas. All right, Johnson, we're ready. All right, Roger. This is a big deal for Juno. It's really important we uh, get this line put back together and make it strong and reliable. But stabilizing the new towers and lifting the line into place will require a team of 30 working overdrive until they get it done. Dustin is charged with getting the first crew to the work site 100 feet in the air. Anytime you're taking crews out by helicopter, got a lot of things going on. It's fairly technical and difficult around these power lines and on these towers. One slip of the controls could send the workers tumbling to their deaths. Hovering a helicopter in the first place is already a, a very difficult task. Helicopters are inherently very unstable and it takes a lot of coordination to just keep a helicopter in one place. All right, boys, slowly get out. 